And that, and that 20 car on the outside behind the nine. Eric Jones, he's here for one thing and one thing only. That's to win this race, not in the playoffs. Yeah, he doesn't want to help the nine. He's a teammate to Denny Hamlin, as is Kyle Busch. It's overtime, presented by Credit One Bank. A good shove from the 18. And there's the 20 moving to the outside, trying to get by the nine of Chase Elliott. Chase has no choice but to get in that bottom groove. A great restart for the 11 of Denny Hamlin. If they get all the way back around to the white flag, the next flag will determine the end of the race. Huge push by the 18 of Kyle Busch onto Denny Hamlin. That's what hurt the nine of Chase Elliott. <laughs> Here they come. Oh, 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 And behind him, hard into the wall. Logano, there's Logano. The caution, Logano is wrecked. Straight Did the up, caution come out before go, he got the white flag? Incredible job by Joey Logano not to drive up the racetrack and get in the wall to get that car corrected. That may sound like a little thing, but if he's in the wall, that his day is over. Daniel Suarez involved in this accident. Daniel Hemrick also. Now we'll have to go back to see if the white flag was received by Denny Hamlin before the caution came out. I think that's over too. The caution came out first. That means they'll try to restart again. Oh, Denny, uh, Joey Logano did not want to hear that. Because that car is damaged. Not received the white flag. Remember, it's not the flag itself, it's the lights, right, Rick? Because we're yes. looking at the flag, man. He's got the white and the caution, all this. NASCAR is going to see when the lights came on. But let's see what happened. We talked about Joey Logano had to get to the finish. Chase was trying to win. Well, really, it starts with Brad Kozlowski. He has to go three wide, four wide, and they just run out of real estate. Contact with the 41 up the track, catches Hemrick. Logano down there on the bottom of the race check as he went out of view, got caught and went through the grass. This will be a great look at the 22 right here at the top of your screen, that bright yellow car. He's going to come in the screen and gets pushed down to the grass. Now, how much damage does that 22 have? The problem they have is that there's so many cars that are on the lead lap, Steve. They come down pit road. Well, there's only... There's only two behind yeah, them. There's only two behind them, so... They and one of those is Suarez. So there's really only one behind him, and the other one's Hamrick. There's really neither behind him, because both of those cars are, that were in the lead lap that wrecked. You follow me, Jeff? Yeah, so, 100%. So basically, Logano's the last car in the lead lap, which the good news is he's still three to the good. The bad news is Chase Elliott can go still clear, win this all race. Clear, all clear, all clear. Checking up on the far wall there. Keep going low. Come on, low, 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 low. Keep coming low. Keep coming low. So now, down, it's a battle. Roll, now yeah. it's a battle between Keselowski and Logano. They have to assume that Chase Elliott's going to win this race. And if they do, who's out on points? Hey, Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.